Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for the dailysheeple.com and this is your news shot. So let's go to the UK Sun where they say Vlad news because science is still puzzled as Europe is mysteriously showered in radioactive particles. And guess what? They're blaming Russia for it, of course, because why not just continue that narrative? Says German scientists say they've seen a slight increase in ruthenium-106. Uh, it was recorded in Germany, Italy, Australia, I'm sorry, Austria, Switzerland, and France. These low levels of the isotope don't pose a threat to human health, they say. But the mysterious rise has baffled the Office of Radiation Protection because there's an Office of Radiation Protection. Now, uh, the low levels of the stable isotope, it says, does not pose a threat. And it's used in chemotherapy to treat eye tumors and is also used in radio, uh, radio isotope thermoelectric generators. And guess what those power? Satellites. So if you see an increase, albeit slight, in this very obscure rare isotope ruthenium-106, either there's been a rash of eye tumors that have broken out all over Europe that's caused them to have to use a lot of ruthenium-106, or perhaps some of the space junk that we have up in space actually fell into the atmosphere, got through, didn't quite burn up all the way, and showered ruthenium-106 and probably some other toxic crap all over Europe. That's exactly what's happened. Says the Office of Radiation Protection said, quote, new analyses of the source of the radiation material are likely to indicate a release in the southern Ural, uh, <laughs> but other regions in southern Russia can't be excluded. Come on! Also, traces of iodine-131 were found in Norway, Finland, Poland, Czech Republic, Germany, France, and Spain in January. Eh, but you know what? The public didn't need to know about that, so they didn't alert the public. Now, these radioactive particles are produced by atomic bomb explosions or nuclear disasters such as Chernobyl or Fukushima. Of course, they continue to work on Chernobyl. It's a work in progress as they put this huge new sarcophagus around it. It's an unbelievable undertaking. But they say they appear to have come from Eastern Europe, but experts have not been able to say exactly what produced them. They're making this crap up as they go, folks. I mean, really, it's a scam and a half. Yeah, well, it's coming from Russia. Vlad did it. Or, yeah, it's coming from Eastern Europe. Sure. Okay, what did they do? Probably for five seconds, they went outside their office. They took a, a rad meter and it went... You know, as they go around, but I click, 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 click. Oh, it's coming from that direction. Oh, Russia's in that direction. Well, let's blame Russia then. Or maybe it just fits the narrative some more. Oh, let's just give more justification to pick on Russia. It's unbelievable. These RTGs, they say, contain extremely powerful strontium-90 radioactive sources to provide energy for lighthouses along the Russian coast of the Baltic Sea. Here we go again. So 93 Baltic RTGs were located in remote areas along the coastline without sufficient physical protection of their powerful radiation source, sources. Therefore, they posed a potential risk to people and the environment. So what they're saying is Europe's Office for Radiation Protection does inspections on Russian lighthouses? I mean, does this make any sense to you folks? Because uh, it certainly doesn't make any sense to me. What this tells me is you've got a bunch of yahoos that are trying to justify their existence, all the while trying to push some more of this Russian narrative and stretching. Either that or they're trying to cover for one of their bubbas who made a mistake and screwed up. Or perhaps it's all the space junk we just throw up into space without thinking of the cost to human health and the potential dangers that these satellites pose when we put them in orbit without taking care of them. Just because it's in space doesn't mean that once it's dead, the problem goes away. Or once we put it up there, let's just forget about it. You know, we run into the same problems here with landfills. Eventually, 
You put enough crap and toxic garbage in there, and what's going to happen? You're going to end up having environmental issues. So it's not rocket scientist. Uh, it's not a rocket science type of thing. Ruthenium 106 is used exclusively in two applications: satellite fuel and eye tumors. And if it's not the eye tumors that's causing it, then it would have to be dun 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 satellites. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.